Hey everyone, I'm Larry the Butcher. Ah! It's time we better an old craft. From my brew box that I opened up here in beautiful Bristol, Ontario. Five paddles brewing. As promised, we're going to try Million Dollar Shag. Let's learn a bit about it. This seasonal saison is thoughtfully crafted, refreshing, gently sweet, and highly sessionable. It means you can drink a lot at once. With a solid base of familiar, grainy, and slightly peppery farmhouse flavors, this brilliant rosy brew also provides a pleasant pucker of raspberry tartness, balanced with the satisfying sweet floral taste and aroma of hibiscus. Grab a seat on the porch, on the front porch with this brew in hand and watch the world go by. Look at where I am. Not a bad view, eh? This is a BFB. BFB, you ask? Big fucking bottle. So I guess we need to crack it open. Look, it's the 1950s. That was easy. It's got almost a burnt ginger ale color to it. Smells soapy. I took the bottle, the, the glass out of the cupboard, I swear. Cheers. It's almost pop like. It's almost pop like to me. Maybe it's the raspberry that's making it taste pop-like. That and I've already had a Guinness today. <clears throat> Let's reacquaint ourselves with the brewery. During the two and a half years that I've been proudly representing Whitby, Ontario, Five Paddles Brewing Company has produced over 120 different brewing brew recipes. These artists have masterfully brewed, bleh, masterfully brewed using both traditional recipes and creating their own unique and entertaining twists with inspired adjunctive ingredients, all the while showing their patrons what it's like to live the dream. It's not bad. Someone said they had it at home and offered me some, I wouldn't turn it down, but I don't think I'd go out and buy it myself. But that's me. Would you normally turn down a beer? Yeah. You wouldn't turn this one down? If, I, if they offered me a beer and they said, hey, this is all I have, I'd go, okay. Not a fan? Well, it's not, it wouldn't be my first go-to. I'd, maybe I'd go, wait a minute, let me go get something. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, this is something, this brewery has created 120 different brew recipes. And you've got Steam Whistle mm -hmm. in the Roundhouse in downtown Toronto. They produce one beer. They're really good at it. <laughs> and I'm wondering if that's maybe craft brewer, brewers are, are trying to be too much at the same time. Well, they've created 120 different ones. Doesn't mean they make 120 all at once. They might have made one. They've produced over 120. Mm -hmm. So. So they come up with different recipes and stuff. I guess it's the same argument as if I had my own shop, I'd be making at least 50 types of sausage. There you go. But you can't have rice. You make like one sausage really well. <laughs> I could make one sausage really well, but you don't have. I came out here for another sip, but it's not good. No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> There's raspberry in it too, and I, I think that's what's that. giving it the sweetness. Raspberry. I'm holding this up so that hopefully when I upload, finally upload this next week, mm -hmm. that YouTube will use you it as. Craft yeah, you want? I'd love to try it. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. I can do the tea thing. Yeah, uh, it's the hibiscus that makes it tea thing. Well, it uses hibiscus tea. Interesting. Mm. 
I wouldn't want two of them. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. I drink two of them. I like Pardon? That. You you yeah. like that one? Yeah. You know what? For me, more than you weren't too keen on the um, was the that Royal one. City? That the, was Royal the other City. One? Yeah, the hibiscus is. I didn't really taste the hibiscus. Really, I don't find I find it there's something not quite enough in there. It's either not quite sweet enough or not quite malty enough. It needs a little enough. more raspberry. It, it needs a little more. It needs to go one way or the other. Yes, and this doesn't do either one. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying with Aaron up up top. It's like all these craft brewers try to make. Like 150 types of beer. It's just the wagon that everybody's on these days. Yeah, that is true. You know what? You like, go, but I'm not a beer expert beers? either. How can you have 60 beers on tap? Everybody, you can't have enough people through there to drink 60 kegs of beer. So, like, you're wasting a week. it, right? Yeah. It's just, it's just a bandwagon. Eventually, if I had a craft, a craft brewery, down. I'd have like three. I could use. We could use this one and I could put fruity tea into it and make that little more fruit pop yep. to it. I need something There's really only good. a tiny bit left. <laughs> None of them is no, distinctive no. enough, but yeah. None of the flavors are distinctive. Yeah, it, it tries to do so much at the same time that it ends up being middle of the road. Needs more raspberry. Need more raspberry? Yeah, I can see that. I can, yeah, I think you're right. I think it's a good one. As, after all, it's raspberry hibiscus. It's not mm -hmm. hibiscus raspberry. <laughs> yeah, it starts off with raspberry. Yeah. Right? There should be a crisp, if it's going to have raspberry in there or any kind of flavor, like apple, whatever, it should have that as a finish on your tongue. And I don't find the raspberry to finish. I find the taste of it okay, but I find the hibiscus, the, 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 the finish on it. The ingredients, water, barley, raspberry, hibiscus, wheat, hops, and yeast. Well, at least it keeps true to the tradition to having the fewest possible ingredients. Because mm -hmm. a true beer only has four ingredients. Water, barley, wheat, hops, and yeast? Yep. That's five. Alright, five. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, five. Okay, five. So this one's like okay? It's okay. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't totally refuse it. I think it's, it's not Guinness. I mean, personally, as a girly fruit fruit drinker, I'd say it needs more raspberry. So it's not like a girly, little bit. it's not quite a girly fruit fruit drink. You're in the shot. I am in the shot. <laughs> you are the shot. I'll give you a shot. Just shut up. Okay, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> I'm trying to record a video. <laughs> That's good. I do like it. Okay. It's Aaron approved. I'm Larry the Butcher. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below. Have you ever tried this? Have you ever tried anything else from Five Paddles? Don't forget to subscribe. It's like somewhere. We'll see you next time.